Right, so in this video we are making these crazy Labradorite resin pieces. Be sure to stick around to the end because there's going to be some tips and tricks on how to achieve this. Let's go! Right, we're back. Ignore my mould, I've been playing. <laughs> now, I did say to myself I was going to leave gemstones alone for a little while. But... <laughs> I have to show you where I am with this one. Now this one is a little bit different if you've seen my previous videos where I've created different gemstone effects. Um, this one's done a little bit differently and it is kind of still in a, a prototype mode, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I'm going to show you this and you can then twist it and do whatever you want with it to, to make it yours. As always, please stick around to the end of the video. So we are going to be making um, a Labradorite. I've come close in some of the previous videos. Now this comes in lots of different colours. Um, let me get some pictures up. You can play with this as you want. I'm just trying to get the... Let me find the image. This one really stood out to me. And I had a little play around with it. And I've come very close. So again, I'm going to be using the Let's Resin UV for this. You can do it with two-part. I haven't experimented with two-part on this yet. Um, but the, the, the key to this, I think, from my experiments, I'm going to show you. I'm going to pour some of my resin in this cup. And then to that, I'm just adding a drop of the black liquid dye from Let's Resin. If this is a translucent, it's not opaque, that is important. If it's opaque and you're using UV, it's not going to cure. Plus you want it kind of translucent for the effect that we're going to get. Or the effect that we want. <laughs> and then we just need to thoroughly mix that in. This is, if you think this is going the same way as the video where I did the whole thing black, you're going to be wrong. This is a little bit different. So we just need to mix that fully until that is streak free. What I'm gonna do is show you this on a smaller scale with a couple of the smaller cavities in my mold and then I'll make a couple more and show you at the end but I will be doing exactly the same process with all of them. So we just pour some of the, it's like a smoky black now and I would say probably about halfway-ish, halfway-ish. <laughs> into our mold as always massive shout out to my channel members anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks so i'd say that's about right now what i'm going to do is take my clear resin and i'm just gonna hold the bottle hopefully i'll get no bubbles i've had the bottle upside down and i'm just gonna keep it in the middle And you can see that clear area now forming in the middle of the piece. And we're just going to bring that up, move the bottle up and down a little bit, and create that shape. Sorry, my neighbour's dog is barking in the garden. <laughs> Creates that negative space area. If you've got a bit of smokiness there, don't panic. It happens. That's the tricky part, is getting this right without that. We'll do the same with the other one. And just bring that up. And this adds a really good, really good effect with the end piece. Now, if you're using UV resin like I am, you can see there's a couple of bubbles. We could just wait for those to rise. So what I'd suggest is covering them just so that any light coming in for a window is not going to cure. And then we can get those bubbles once they've risen. And then we just, it helps if you plug in your UV lamp. <laughs> we just cure those. So you'll see I've done a few. Ignore that one down there. Um, and now it's just the dusting part that we've done in previous videos. So for this one, I'm just using a mixture of the blues. Now, I might use this one. This one does shine a little bit of a purple, and that is the dark blue. So we just do what we normally do with our other 
stones and we just brush the nail powder onto them I said I might use it I've gone straight in with that dark blue <laughs> and then the same with a different blue you can see where I'm going and we just mix them in and then just brush them all and blend them all in after just like that so once you finish brushing your powders now <laughs> now comes the scary part this is where you know jump in the comments and let me know how you will do this um, we need to add those those lines now you've seen me before scratching these kind of lines with a with a blade where I just draw over the piece and score it to just to distress those powders now I thought about this you could take them out and do this you could do them in the mold do, if you're doing it in the mold make sure it's an old mold because you can scratch not that it really matters the outside area um, but if you do take them out we do need to back them with a black afterwards now the tricky part is if you're doing this with two parts if you, you reinstate that cabochon into your mold and then back it with the black what can happen is if there's any gaps that black resin could seat down onto the sides or the front of the piece which is why I'm keeping mine in but let me know how you will try it I know I'm using UV so I could take it out and, and do it um, put it rest it maybe on a on a bit of white tack or blue tack whatever you call it but I'm just gonna again this is just me in kind of a prototype mode with it at the moment you could create wider scratches you just want to distress the look of the stone and I know these lines naturally aren't straight but for some reason I'm just not happy when I take these out with what I've done I don't know what that is for some reason I get this with painting as well um, and sometimes with a lot of my art is that I just it just doesn't look right to me I don't know what it is um, other people say oh it looks great but to me it, it just it just doesn't look right I don't know whether I'm the only one <laughs> it's just me I don't know um, I think we all suffer with you know that that we're never happy with our own creations kind of thing I, I don't I don't know what it is it's, it's just some really strange brain chemistry so now I'm going in on some with my craft knife I'm just trying to create some darker patches again I'm not gonna be 100% happy with these but it is just a step on our little journey so now all we need to do is back those with our black backing um, try and blow off as much as you can <laughs> or you could just use a brush and just get most of that off if you are new to my channel don't be scared to hit that sub button for me um, if you hit the comments you'll see that everybody is friendly we all pretty much know each other in this community anyway and just get rid of that those lumps in case they show through so I'm just going to mix up some black mica powder not too strong as I've shown before because we need that light to cure through so you just bring it out to the edge and then just cure them all okay let's see what we've got so I had enough of the the black backing the mica powder um, so I did I repeated the same as these but without the black liquid dye so it was black mica powder in first and then I poured my clear over so I don't know what it's going to be like so let's start with these two up here That's really cool. You can't really see that black um, effect that I wanted on these ones, maybe because they're quite small. Again, the scratching's not brilliant, but it does look very close. I'm really happy with that. There was me saying I'm never happy with my work. I am <laughs> on, on occasions, but that flash is really nice as well. It does look, it's just a shame it hasn't got 
what I'm going to show you in the other pieces. I think it's because it is so small. And as always, please give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and if you haven't subbed, hit that button. It is free. Wow. You see what I mean about the scratching, though? It's very straight. It's not quite there for me. But you could probably do it better. So just play around with it. It really does act add that extra natural look let's go with a teardrop and then I think I'm gonna have a break from making the natural stones let me know what you want to see more of peat tree blooms I think I went a bit a bit heavy with the scratching on that one in some areas for the size of the piece you can kind of see that black effect that I wanted on this one Let's go, I think I'm going to say this one till last. I know I've got some bubbles in some of them, so ignore those. Let's go with this one here. Wow. See that, that black is more visible in this one. Kind of like a border. Really does add to that natural look. And that flash is something, isn't it? That one is really, really good. Let's go with the one next to it. It's good. Maybe a bit more down here, I don't know. Really does, that flash is <laughs> really cool, isn't it? See that purple hint? I love it. Let's go with the heart. I'm really not sure. But maybe, again, for experimenting, the black mica might work better than the liquid dye. You never know. Whoa. It's got some crazy effects in the back there. I think I ran out of UV resin. And I had to quickly open another bottle and I've got natural light coming in to the left of me, which I think has kind of cured, started to cure that surface. But that has actually really added to the effect. I think that is incredible. There's a really nice purple in there as well. Maybe it's a little bit too dark, but in the right light, that is something else. I should have saved this one till last. <laughs> Look at that. Right. Let's move on to this one. I know I've got some bubbles. I know there are some bubbles. And I think this one, we had a bit of a smoky vibe going on. Wow. Up here, I'm loving these up here. These look really natural. I like that one. That is really nice. You can just see that kind of a border where that, that darker pore, the first pore is a little bit it's a little bit too prominent right last one I don't think it's gonna beat that heart I really really don't so maybe what I could try next time I do it is just giving it a very quick UV light just to ripple the back then add my powders I don't know Wow Okay, that, I'm loving, I'm loving this area up here as well. It's got that, that darker, you see it here, about 11 o'clock, that darker patch is really, really natural, and that black border is really <laughs> helping the piece as well. I think I've done it, I'm really happy with that, 
um, I'll show you one that I did yesterday whilst I was experimenting not yesterday the day before where's it gone let me find it so this one was too dark and I really wasn't happy with that and that was another one again the scratching wasn't that great but from from those to these is just it just shows you know the more you try the better it gets I'm really really happy with those well again give the video a thumbs up drop me a comment and I will see you for the next one bye for now